in earlier sessions we have been trying to understand uh, uh, mean deviation as one of the measures of dispersion so now let us try to understand how to calculate mean deviation for a continuous distribution so ultimately we will be using the same formula and that formula is going to be mean deviation is equal to summation of all the values from i1 to n values of all the fi values so now multiply this fi value with the uh, the modulus of uh, xi minus x bar okay so this has to be divided by summation of all the fi values 1 is to n i is equal to 1 to n so this is going to be the formula which we will use for calculating mean deviation for a continuous distribution so now let us uh, take up an, a problem and try to understand how do we solve it so here is a continuous distribution so let us write uh, the class interval of the continuous distribution is uh, so let us first of all we'll draw a line here so uh, class interval let us say that it is 10 to 16 now 17 to 23 uh, uh, next class is uh, 24 to 30 next class is 31 to 37 next class is uh, 38 to 44 next class is 45 to uh, 51 assume these are the classes that we have okay now um, let us to to have clarity let us put a uh, make it in a in a column and uh, if the fi values are going to be let us assume this is uh, frequency is uh, 8 and this is uh, 10 this is 23 this is uh, let us put 29 and uh, let us come down 18 and 12 okay so this is the the data that we have now how to calculate uh, uh, mean deviation for this now remember we don't have an xi value because it is a continuous distribution so therefore what we are going to do is as we have seen in earlier examples if the xi value is going to be the mid value so the mid value of uh, 10 to 16 that class interval is going to be let us say it is 13 so this will be uh, 20 this will be 27 this will be 34 the mid value and uh, this will be uh, 41 is the mid value and this is going to be 48 so we have also got the xi values now now it is very easy now first of all uh, what we shall do is let us calculate the summation of all the fi values so summation of all these values that 8 plus 10 plus 23 plus 29 plus uh, uh, 18 plus 12 this is going to be a perfect 100 so therefore we got the fi values so now what are we going to do now let us look at the formula once more so therefore mean deviation is equal to uh, that is equal to summation of all the values fi into xi minus x bar we take the modulus divided by summation of all the fi values so this is the formula so therefore right now we have only this this value we have okay the other values we need to find so therefore first and foremost what we need to do is to uh, find uh, the uh, x bar so now you know that uh, x bar is equal to uh, in such a distribution x bar is equal to summation of all the uh, fi xi divided by summation of all the fi values this is x bar so therefore let us first of all uh, the first thing that we are going to do is fi into xi value so therefore 13 into 8 so this will be uh, 13 into 8 is this is 104 uh, 20 into 10 this is about 200 uh, 27 into 23 this is uh, 621 621 uh, 34 into 29 that is equal to 986 41 into 18 that is 738 uh, 12 into 48 is equal to 576 okay so now the summation now summation of all this value is equal to 3000 225 very good so therefore we got that so therefore we have this value here and this is equal to 3 to 
25 divided by 100 because summation of all the fi is 100 that is equal to 32.25 so we got x bar as 32.25 now what we are going to do is uh, uh, in the next thing we need to find xi minus x bar so therefore xi values are here 13 minus so therefore xi minus x bar is equal to 32.25 okay let us write down these values so therefore uh, 13 minus 32.25 so we are going to get it in minus so this is going to be minus 19.25 this will be uh, minus 12.25 now uh, 27 minus 32.25 is equal to minus 5.25 okay now 34 now we start getting plus values so that is 1.75 this is 8.75 uh, 48 minus 32.25 is equal to that is 15.75 okay now what is important in mean deviation is that we need to take the modulus modulus means ignore the sign so therefore we put it like this xi minus x bar we take the modulus okay so therefore modulus this is going to be 19.25 12.25 5.25, 1.75, 8.75, and 15.75. So you are encouraged to write this step because it is otherwise what will happen is uh, you will you may skip and you may end up in problem. So it is better that you write this number. Okay, the modulus. Now the last step that is fi into xi minus x bar. So we have the fi values. So therefore this is fi into xi minus x bar. That is a modulus. So 8 into 19.25. 8 into 19.25 that is 154. 10 into 12.25 is 122.50. So similarly, uh, 23 into 5.25, that is about uh, uh, 120.75. So 1.75 into 29, that is 50.50.75. 50, 50, let me write it properly. So this is 50.75. 23, 29, okay. 29, okay. So now, um, 18 into 8.75 is, uh, that is 157.50. This is 189.00. Okay, we got all the values now. Now what is important is uh, we need to total these values. So this total is equal to, using a calculator to find that, that is equal to um, 714, 794.50. Okay, 794.50. So therefore, now what, what we shall do is, we got this value also. So therefore, um, we shall write down like this. Let us replace the values. So, uh, 794.50 divided by 100. So that is equal to 7.945. This is going to be the mean deviation. So it is very easy to find that way. So we got the mean deviation. Now, once we find the mean deviation, so from earlier classes, we have discovered that uh, coefficient of mean deviation. We can very easily calculate the coefficient of mean deviation. So, coefficient of mean deviation, coefficient of mean deviation is equal to mean deviation divided by x bar. Okay, so therefore, so this is equal to mean, mean deviation is uh, 7.94. 5 divided by 32.25 so therefore this will give us a value of 0 
okay this is giving us a value of 0 0.25 so therefore coefficient of mean deviation is 0 0.25 so which are the three values that we have got one thing is we got mean uh, the mean is 32.25 and mean deviation is 7.945 and coefficient of mean deviation is 0 0.25 so this is how we calculate uh, mean deviation for a continuous distribution